Well, this is a special Sunday for us as it is the day that we celebrate the musical gifts of Emily Rudquist and wish her Godspeed in the next stage of her journey. Emily has been accepted into the master's program at the University of Oklahoma in piano performance, and I think Brad has more to say about all of that. Brad, if you would. Well, the day is here. <laughs> Emily, just less than three years ago, we sat um, in a few chairs right in the center aisle and we spoke for the very first time. And there are moments in your life when you meet someone who you know will leave a special impact. Adam introduced me to, or introduced all of us at a staff meeting to a book called We Make the Path by Walking. And Emily, let me say, it has been an honor and a privilege to walk this path with you these past three years. Not only has your musical ability, your technical ability, your wonderful gift and sensitivity to music have been a joy and an honor to work with, but I have never met a musician, and I'm getting up there now, so uh, that's something to say, um, a musician with such integrity and kindness as you. And it has been an awesome privilege to, to share this time with you. And I know that you're gonna go and do wonderful things. I don't think words can express the joy and the love that we all have for you. So I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick. Yes, um, but just know that there will always be a candle lit, a light on, a door open, and many hearts ready to welcome you back whenever you come. Um, along with a wonderful gift from the con uh, congregation, which you will receive um, at the reception, I would like to present to you um, this music poem um, entitled Listening by Amy Lowell. And I made it small because I know you're traveling and you're going to be packing and stuff. So let me read it to you because I think it encapsulates uh, exactly who I think you are as a musician and a wonderful friend and person. Tis you that are the music, not your song. The song is but a door which, opening wide, lets forth the pent-up melody inside. Your spirit's harmony, which, clear and strong, sings but of you. Throughout your whole life long, your songs, your thoughts, your doing, each divide this perfect beauty. Waves within a tide or single notes amid a glorious throng. The song of earth has many different chords. Ocean has many moods and many tones, yet always ocean. In the damp spring woods, the painted trillium smiles, while crisp pine cones become autumn, alone can ripen. So it is this. One music with a thousand cadences. Listening by Amy Lowell. Emily, we wish you great joy. We wish you the greatest success, love, and greatness. Thank you so much. We're not done yet. <laughs> Emily is starting a new venture in a new place, but even as we are sad to see her go, we recognize what a gift she has been to us, indeed to everyone who has worshipped in these walls. Emily, your music has touched us deeply. For myself, I love your repertoire. <laughs> your choices are so fitting, whether they um, 
send us to the depths of our memories or send us grinning and practically high-fiving as we walk out the door. As John told you about the sati, many of us have had that experience of hearing you play a particular piece and the way you phrase it, that it just drops a plumb line straight down to who we are at our innermost selves. That is a rare gift. <sighs> Which is why we will miss you, but it's also why we understand how important it is for you to continue your studies. Yeah. In a broken world, the gift of your spirit and your music is very much needed. And we are grateful to have shared some of it with you here. And now, my dear congregation, we have to do the release. Ready? Emily, our prayers go with you as you clarify and put into action the call that is taking you to Oklahoma. But it is time for us now to release you. Members and friends of McAllister Plymouth United Church, do you release Emily, offering your prayers and encouragement to her as she takes this next step in the unfolding of her life and her gifts? If so, please say we do. We do. Emily, we reaffirm today that it has been the spirit that brought you to us, the spirit that has enlivened our time together, and the spirit that you will take with you even as it also remains with us. Go in peace with our love and our prayers supporting you. Go in strength with the gifts that we have shared with you together. Go in joy, trusting that the God who calls us forward will be part of everything that you experience as you answer this call. You are part of our family and you will always have a home here. Go in peace. Amen. <laughs>